Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again so much for our time together. Tonight is the great healing night. We do this once a month at Cathedral of Praise. We'll be teaching on the miracles of Jesus and anointing with oil and praying for all the sick. If you're sick in your body, if if the doctors have given up on you, if they've told you that you're never going to get well, come to God's house. Come and seek Jesus. Jesus is your healer. We love to sing a song, He's a Healing Jesus. We'll see you tonight. Right now, I want us to come back to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 8, beginning with verse 7. Paul makes a fascinating statement that shows us something about our conscience. He said, but not everyone knows this, ignorance. He said, not not everybody knows that idols are nothing. The whole, whole context here in verse 4, he says, we know that idols are nothing at all in this world. But he said, not everybody knows this. Not everybody understands that demon idols are nothing. Not everybody knows this. Some people are still so accustomed to idols that when they eat such food, they think of it having been sacrificed to an idol, and since their conscience is weak, it is defiled. But now I want you to see what Paul is saying here. There are two things that affect our conscience that have nothing to do with the Bible. One, ignorance. Either we're ignorant of truth and that way we don't feel bad, like, for instance, you, you look at Spurgeon many years ago, one of the great preachers of, the, of history, and he used to smoke great big cigars. Now, no preacher would do that today because we understand it destroys the lungs. It, it, it kills a person, okay? It, it, it destroys the temple of, of the Holy Ghost. But years ago, ignorance, he, he didn't understand this. So ignorance that something is destructive or ignorance of something that is not destructive. Paul said idols are nothing, but because they're ignorant, it affects their conscience. And also, he continues, and they're so accustomed to idols. What you are accustomed to affects your conscience. Knowledge and culture affect your conscience. Now, brothers and sisters, this is not right, but this is reality. Knowledge, ignorance, culture affect our conscience. Now, what I would challenge you to do is to get into the Word of God And as Paul says in Romans, renew your mind. Spend time in God's Word every day, renewing your mind. And as you renew your mind, you're going to find that conscience comes back into balance properly. There's no ignorance, either positive or negative. There's no culture, either positive or negative, that affects your conscience. Instead, it's the Word of God.